What's up everybody, Bill here, Guitar Struggles. With a video about alternate picking, a shitty video about alternate picking. And alternate picking has pissed me off for years, for years and years. And, and it's something that I feel like I should be able to do, but I, I completely suck at it. And I don't think that I'm going to give any tips on how to actually get better at it, but, but if you've been watching all the different videos and you feel like your alternate picking isn't improving, you might want to watch this video. There might be something in it for you. Alternate picking pisses me off so bad. If alternate picking was a giant white whale like Moby Dick and my chest was a cannon, I would shoot my heart upon fucking alternate picking. That's how badly it pisses me off. My whole experience with alternate picking has basically been nothing but the five the, the five stages of grief, except with just the one stage of being pissed off. Just anger. Complete anger. And then once in a while, acceptance. I, I accept the fact that I can't alternate pick. And somebody comes up with a better video. Uh, uh, this time I'm going to do it. Because they guaranteed it. He fucking guaranteed that this is going to improve it. And, and I do think you can improve on it to, to some degree. Uh, but I also think this. I, I think it's a skill. And it's just like many other things, you're only going to be so good at it. Like, uh, there's things that I'm never going to be able to do. And one thing is dunk a basketball. Not that I even want to, but I could work at it and work at it and work at it, and I just can't jump that high. So it's not going to happen. Another thing that I'll never be able to do is uh, paracourt or parkour, whatever the fuck they call it. These people that, like, jump up and down fucking stairs and run halfway up a building and they're doing flips and cartwheels and shit like that. Just not built for it. I'm not cut out for it. I would fucking break my neck. Uh, I'd break my fucking neck. And I'm not breaking my neck alternate picking, but it's pissing me off. And I know what somebody's going to say. Well, did you try Pepper Brown? What about him? Did you, did, did you take a look at his stuff because he's really good? Well, funny you should ask because I did. I did. And, and actually long before Pepper Brown... Or before even YouTube, I had a guitar teacher that showed me all that shit, that, that you can do this. How cool is that? And how much fun is that? It's fucking awesome. But you know what? The thing is, you get good at that to a certain speed, and that's all you can do. And I also... I'm 48 years old. I don't have fucking 20 years to be able to learn my first song by Pepper Brown because Pepper Brown's a pain in the ass. That's right, I said it. Fuck Pepper Brown. I know everybody loves Pepper Brown. First of all, what the fuck kind of name is Pepper? And if it pisses you off that I don't like Pepper Brown, put it in the comments. I'll fucking pin it. Fuck Pepper Brown. That's it. I said it. And I feel like this. He's way better than me at guitar, but here's the other thing I feel about him. It took him a really long time to get good at guitar, because he says that. So I feel like he doesn't want anyone else to get really good. Uh, and, and I've seen lessons where he does, and that's all he teaches. Well, well, do this for six months and come back, and then your next lesson's going to be this. You're going to do it backwards. Now do that up and down the neck for 25 hours, uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week and then come back for another lesson, and then I'll give you something else shitty like that to do. And learn learn all the theory of guitar, too. So fuck Pepper Brown. And I know what someone's going to say now. They're going to be like, but see, but you're missing on, on the most important point that Pepper says. You need to practice to a metronome, okay? And what you do, you practice the metronome, and every day you just turn it up by one click, okay? You turn it up by one click. You don't even notice it, but then all of a sudden, before you know it, you might have started at 100 beats per minute. In a hundred days, you're going to be playing at 200 beats per minute. And I see the logic to that, and I'm not knocking a metronome, but here's my thing with that. If that works so well, how come the dudes that are playing 200 beats per minute now aren't playing 300 beats per minute? Because all they have to do is do that for another hundred day, days. And for that matter, why aren't they playing a thousand beats a minute? Because all they would have to, they, every day, they would just have to fucking keep upping it by one. And it's, a, it's muscle coordination, it's a motor skill, okay? And if that works so well too, how come like Olympic runners and shit like that don't wear a metronome with, with headphones on and however fast they can run, they set the metronome to that and then they just set it up by a hair the next day, okay? So before you know it, you should be, you know, 
If, if that was true, I should be able to run a four-second, 40-yard dash. Well, and, and then if that's even true, if I just increase it by one every, every day, before you know it, I'll be running 200 miles an hour. Why aren't people running faster than cars, if that's true? Because there's athletes that are into all kinds of shit of how to improve by a little bit. So I'm not buying that. I'm not saying that the metronome isn't a good idea, but, but I'm saying that that's going to cure people and make them be able to fucking alternate pick quickly and fast. No, that's busted. I know what you're saying now. Well, what about Troy Grady with, with pick slanting? Because, because you should be able, if you slant the pick in the right directions, you should be able to do that. Well, well, that's for switching strings back and forth. I can't even get it happening on one string. I mean, I, I can play much faster legato than if I try and... That's about as fast as I can get until shit starts getting, like, tense and, uns uh, like, unsynced. And here's another thing that I've heard, which you're going to say, well, anybody that can tremolo pick, you should be able to get your tremolo picking synced up with your other hand. But here's the thing, the tremolo picking like this, it's basically just my fucking hand is spasming. It's spasming in, in a really unpredictable way. And there's no sort of way to sync my hands up to that. I, I, I guess you could, but you would think you would want a more controlled. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. I'm not saying this shit doesn't work for everybody. It won't work for anybody, but it doesn't work for me. Well, how about this? Klaus Levin just came out with with some new alternate picking shit. Okay, and what Klaus says is break it down into small pieces, which I agree with. But then he says, do it a thousand times, okay? Do it a thousand times. And what I've found in my personal life is I do it a thousand times, and I can probably do it more cleanly than I would be able to do it, but still pretty much at the same speed. And here's the other problem I have with a thousand times. We'll just take... All right, let's do this a thousand times, and we'll count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, five, one of seven, one of eight. One, wait, what fucking number was I on? Fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Try counting that shit. Try counting that shit uh, while you're trying to do it. Okay. And, and I'm sure I've done this shit a thousand times. I just think that I've probably gotten. To my full ability of how fast I'm going to be able to uh, alternate pick. And I know what you're saying, well why don't you try economy picking? Well this, th this video isn't about that and I have my own specific problems with economy picking too. But back to alternate picking. Okay. And, and I think that's about it, except some other, some other people like to tell you this. Minimal movement and play softer and relaxed. Alright, it's not getting faster. I'm going to take smaller movements. Well, now it's, it's the same speed, but it's quieter. Now I'm going to relax more and smaller. Look, I, I've relaxed so much now, now that the pick isn't even, the pick won't make it through the string. Because that, that's how relaxed I've gotten and, and how small the movements are. So that's not working for me either. It's fucking busted. I'm throwing that idea out too. Fuck it. And then you might ask this, well, if it pisses you off so badly, why, why do you want to alternate pick? Why, why do you let it get to you? Why do you want to do it so badly? Well, why did Captain Ahab fucking chase that asshole whale around? Because Captain Ahab's a fucking asshole, okay? And so am I. And I let this kind of shit fucking get to me, but not for long. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking of going to the last stage of grief about alternate picking, which is just acceptance. I'm just going to accept I can't do it. So I'm thinking of just sticking to legato, or, or maybe some sort of mixture between legato and alternate picking, and see if that works better. And that still sucks too, but it's way better than I can alternate pick. So, so that's what I think. And then, if you suck at it too, and you're thinking of giving it up, why not? And I know what happens, because like some people on some videos are like, you need to find your weaknesses, and work on your weaknesses and build them up. But then some other people are like, well, you should build on your strengths. So, so if you pay attention to fucking YouTube, uh, who the fuck knows? So maybe just do what makes you not so pissed off, is what I think I'm going to do. And even though I say that now, I'm going to be back with a Klaus Levin video. 
fucking alternate picking trying to get it down. And not that I even want to do it that badly. It's just, it's fucking pissing me off and I've become fucking obsessed with it. I know something else that people might be asking. Well, why are you wearing sunglasses inside? Because you look like a fucking asshole. Well, first of all, because I am an asshole. Second of all, I'm trying to improve the light quality in my studio, and I use that term loosely. And I don't know how people fucking do it with light shining in your fucking face. It's fucking blinding me. Okay? And, and speaking of that, there's one, here's a bonus tip. If anybody wants a bonus opening picking tip, well, here it is, here it is. Because I did find this by accident, and I remember some people would say, well, you know, some people use their wrist this way, and some people use their wrist this way, so find what works for you. And I accidentally found this. Now, I don't know how, but one day I had my guitar laying on my lap, kind of. And I was, like, so pissed about alternate picking, I just started... That's not working very well right now either, but it seems to work better than everything else. But here's the thing, I don't want to play like that, because you look like a fucking asshole. I know what somebody's going to say, well what about that blind guy, Jeff Neely or Jeff Healy or whatever the fuck his name was. Are you going to say he looks like a fucking asshole just because the poor guy's blind and that's the only way he can play guitar? I'm going to say it, yes, he looks like a fucking asshole, okay? And I'm going to say something else about him. If you're so fucking awesome, how come he's still not popular? And I'm going to say this, too. Everybody fucking liked him and gave him a lot of credit just because he was blind. It was like almost an affirmative action thing. Everyone felt bad for him and decided to give him a lot of fucking radio play with that one song. He was gimmicky. He was a blind dude. If he wasn't blind, he never would have even, he never would have had any success at all. And that's what I'm saying. I'm sticking to that. I feel like, well, fuck you, you're hateful, and, I, and you're a piece of shit, and fuck you. Put it in the comments, and I'll pin it. I'll pin it. And then also put in the comments how much you love Jeff Healy, okay? Or Jeff Neely, whatever the fuck his name is. I might pin that, too. Unfortunately, I can only pin one comment, but I'll love it. I'm going to love every comment from now on. I also had uh, multiple comments in my last video, because I had some background, background music in there uh, with the uh, Guitar Struggles Orchestra. And a lot of people said the problem with that music was First of all, it was gay as fuck, and I didn't like it. And, and the other thing that people said was, it was too loud, and I couldn't hear what you're saying. So, so I'm sure as hell it would be that happened. Okay. Yeah, so thank you for the comments, and I'm going to try and do that. That's what I got for this time. Ultimate picking. Who the fuck cares? Really, who the fuck cares? So until next time, your struggles, most definitely my struggles.